And if you held two fights, guys like Tom Lance or Clint Stein are going to be wide open. So they're going to try and go at Mooney and try and get another foul here. That's a really good start by Daniel Johnson. He can fill it up. We've seen that for many years. Shot clock at single figures for Giddy. Still a long way from the cup. Johnson settles for three. Same spot, same result. Oh, my. The big fun is just so difficult to be able to match up on. You know, he's equally as good when he's back to the basket as he is when he's outside there. Pinder wants to go to work. Little handoff to Johnson. The big man found a way. How quick his decision making. You can see he wanted to get Brandon Paul open, but he throw that to Dan Dillon. He's either going to have a little shot fake and shoot himself or Brandon Paul will be wide open. That's just too easy. Another really good decision. Johnson pulls up on Besto this time. Drains another two. And that's money. That's one of the weird the rare transition baskets they've been able to get. And Johnson very quickly with his Perth are making a charge. Slowly but surely for the ladder leaders. Johnson fading away. Oh my. Baseline. Here you come, boys. Well, he's that one legged dirt. Johnson steps into his three. Oh. Did he call bank? He he did not call back, but he'll take it. Over the ladder leading Perth Wildcats. Here he is, the big man. What? And, and he only shot it long. Digging away. You did, they're going to get some stops. You're going to get some good offensive possessions. That helps. It's over. This music in the Adelaide Entertainment Centre. This is when the Sixers, they play that. They're pretty certain the game is over. <laughs> well, giddy for Daniel Johnson. And why not?